Hi everyone, welcome to Pilates. Uh, for this exercise class, the Pilates class, you want to maybe, if you have a band at home, just keep it handy as we will use it throughout the class. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it, don't sweat it. You can um, get all the benefits of the exercises that I'm going to be teaching without the band. So the band just adds an extra load and resistance, which is always nice just to deepen the work and the connection. So for today's class, we're going to start lying on our back. We're going to have some fun with dead bug. But first, let's start with hands on the rib cage. Feel the weight of the hands on the rib cage here. And just coming into your body a little bit. So be mindful whenever you're on your back in Pilates that you're not here with a shortened cervical spine tightening up the neck muscles. Use this as an opportunity to lengthen out the back of the neck, releasing the chin down to the chest. Feel the weight of your pelvis. So from your pubic bone to your hip bones, nice and level, so not tilting in towards your belly button or down between your legs. Try to level off the, the area between the pubic bone and the hip bones. Nice and level. And then feel the weight of your pelvis sinking down into the mat. So take the hands to the rib cage. Nice and open and soft across, across the chest. And we're just gonna come into the body by way of the breath. Deep breath in. And out. Two more like this. Deep, deep breath in. And out. Last one. Deep breath in. And out. Changing it up to your Pilates breathing now. So inhaling through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Out through purse lips. Feel the ribs expanding out to the side on your inhale. And as you exhale, narrow through your waist, narrow the space between your hip bones. One more. Sink your belly button down. Very nice. All right, floating the right leg up to tabletop and the left. Really anchor your pelvis down and then lengthen your legs up as much as you can manage and then float your arms up. So really feel the arm bones and the leg bones sinking back into both the shoulder and hip sockets. And let's just hang out here for a moment. Just really allowing gravity to get these limbs into their sockets, chin to chest. Deep breathing. So we're going to send the right arm back, nothing else moves. And exhale out. And the left. Here we go. Right leg. Don't lower it all the way to the floor if that feels too challenging. Just go halfway. And the left. Your feedback will be how much the rest of the body needs to wobble and lose stability to make the movement possible. So you need to try to control for that. Inhale the right arm. And the left. Keep the ribs in. Right leg. And the left. One more time, in isolation, one limit at a time. Try to keep your belly button sinking into the spine. Right leg, nothing else moves. And the left. Let's put this together. So we're going to go right arm and left leg together now. And 
Opposite arm and leg now, reach, reach, reach. Keep the ribs connected, chin to chest, tummy engaged. Make sure the rest of the body isn't wobbling, shaking. So if you need to, just make it a small movement, okay? You don't need to go all the way to the floor as I'm demoing. Only go as far as you can without losing the stability in the rest of the body. And we go. Other side. One more time each side. You can soften the knees if it's starting to feel too strenuous through the hamstring or you're overworking in the hip flexors. And this is your last time each side. Hold it for three, two, one. And the last side. Two, one. Hold it here. Bend the knees, come into tabletop, and just hug the knees into the chest for a moment. Very nice. So I love that exercise, dead bug. It's a, working the core so deeply, but without loading the joints, so without putting pressure on your wrists or your knees or your hips, when we normally work in a four-point kneeling position, which we'll do a bit later. Okay, coming into, uh, again, dead bug, with, but with bent knees. So you're at 90 degrees here at the hip and the back of the knees, arms are up again. Now we're gonna work away from the midline. So one limit at a time, open the right arm out to the side this time. And the left. Right leg out to the side. And the left. Right arm again. Nothing else gets to move. And the left. Right leg. You'll really feel the core as you bring that leg back into center. So hold that knee open. Feel the opposite leg nice and stable. And now here's your deep core work, inner thighs, bringing that knee back into center. Now we work opposite arm and leg together, moving away from the midline of the body. So opposite arm and leg, opening up to the side. Keep really stable through the other arm and leg. And now powerful exhale, back to center. And we go. And again. Keep it up. One more time each side. Sink that belly button down. Hold in the center. Hold it in the center. Replace the right foot down. And the left. And float your arms down. Just shake out the legs. Massage the hip flexors if you need to. And getting ready for our 100. So for the 100, you can keep the legs down if those hip flexors are over firing. Or you can float the legs up to tabletop position. Or if you feel ready for a challenge, you can have the extended legs reaching down as much as your abdominals can manage and your low back. The upper body comes up, looking between the inner thighs. You're reaching through the arms, cupping your palms. Okay, fingers are together. And it's an inhale, three, two, three, four, five. And then it's an exhale, two, three, four, five. Here, your elbows are straight and the work is coming from the shoulder, really reaching through the fingertips. You have nice long lines. You're sinking your belly button and you're making sure you're not taking any strain through the neck. So you've really got to engage core, reaching the shoulders away from the ears. 
So we're going to try that together. It's your hundred. Choose the leg position you need. If your neck gets sore, just come down with your head and keep moving with the arm movements. So raise it up. Sink your belly button. Shoulders away from the ears. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Deep breath in. Just checking my screen. I'm sorry. Okay, we're still filming. And you're on your back. Sorry for that. Reaching, coming up, and we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Last ten. Inhale. Bring the knees in. Ooh, and release the head down. Well done. Just turn your head from side to side. In case there was any strain, take it in the neck and shoulders. So that's your hundred. Taking the feet down one at a time. Feeling the weight of your pelvis into the mat. Coming into some pelvic tilts. And then we're going to work into the glutes in our shoulder bridge position. But first, let's just get the abdominal connection. Inhale. Exhale. The belly button engages towards the spine. It's that abdominal connection that allows you to bring the pelvis towards, well, pubic bone towards the nose, ribs and hips towards each other. Inhale here. My low back is connected to the mat. Exhale, release to neutral. Inhale. Really folding in half. Return that pelvis to neutral. Inhale. Inhale. Keep the bum muscles loose. Exhale, belly button to spine, melt that low back into the mat. Really feel your feet firmly rooted in the mat. The chin is down towards the chest and then really getting those shoulders away from the ears. Still folding in half here. Inhale. Now exhale, we're going to go from here and peel our hips, our spine, everything up. So one vertebrae at a time is lifting. So now the glute muscles, your bum can start to engage as you peel all the way up. Make sure here that your ankles are underneath your knees. Squeeze the bum, ribs and hips in one line. So try to bring the pubic bone towards your nose, getting a little bit of a posterior tilt with the pelvis. Lovely. Make sure those knees aren't flaring open or falling together. Really come up into a strong shoulder bridge. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to go down right away. One vertebrae at a time. Very nice. Inhale. Exhale, here we go. Right away. Go through that imprint and peel it up. Your hamstrings and quads are working equally. Ground down through your feet. Make sure the ribs are sinking in towards the back body. Belly button to the spine. Reach you those fingertips. Strong shoulder bridge here. It's important to get this right before we can build on. What are my arms doing? I want to get my triceps working here to stabilize. So extend the elbows a bit. Reach you the fingertips. Navel the spine. Now you should feel the muscles at the back of the upper arm firing your triceps. Inhale. And exhale, we go down. So this exercise is awesome because it's working the front line of the body and the back line, which is so powerful. Inhale. 
and exhale, creating balance. Move through that imprint, navel the spine, flex the muscles of the bum now, engage, press through those feet all the way up. Strong shoulder bridge, reach through those fingertips. Sink belly button, get the hip bones traveling towards each other like you're tightening a seat belt. Feel that connection. Inhale, and exhale, we go down. The next round, we're gonna build on. Beautiful, inhale. And exhale, go through that imprint, navel the spine, all the way up, press through the feet, right up, reach through those fingertips. Feel the glutes working, hamstrings, quadriceps, reach. From here, we're gonna lower the hips as a unit, just about halfway. Don't lose the abdominal connection. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, press up. And we go. Really targeting the glutes and hamstrings here. Lots of core. Don't forget about your arms working beside the body to stabilize. There should be no back pain here. How you present that is bringing the pubic bone towards the nose, posterior tilt with the pelvis. Strong core. That's five. Six. This is looking great. Keep it going. Seven. We're going to go for ten. Eight. My glutes are on fire. Nine. Ten. Press through those feet. Lift through the hips. Strong navel the spine. Reach, reach, reach through the fingertips. Hold it here. Now ground down through your right foot. The knee, the hip, the shoulder, all on the right side working. Send the left leg long. Try to keep strong. That glute will be on fire. Bend the knee. Place it back down. Whew. Now the left line. Fire it up. Everything. Ankle, quad, glutes, core, shoulder. All working together. Send the right leg long. Don't let the hips drop. Keep them level. And bend the knee. Place it back down. Inhale. And let's give ourselves a break coming down. Articulating down. Whew. Hug those knees into the chest. Whew. Powerful to go from the pelvic press right into that leg extension, just to deepen the connection through the glutes. Very nice. We're going to go up again. We're going to try to build on to that second component of the exercise we were doing. So stay with me. If it's too challenging, leave it out. Just stay up in your shoulder bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Go through your imprint now. So here we go. Right away, we're going up. Make sure your ankles are under your knees. I'm just adjusting right up. Squeeze the glutes, navel to spine. So strong corset feeling here through the core. Glutes, press the hips up, reach to the fingertips. Now ground down to the right side, send the leg long. We're going to reach up, point, and lower. Let's go for five. Hold it up, bend, and replace it down. Very nice. Strong core. If that felt too challenging, stay here in your shoulder blade. And we go. Stand the right leg low. That's two. Three more. Hold it up, point, and place the foot down. Squeeze the glutes. Strong core, inhale, and exhale. Whew. Coming all the way down. Let's just rock gently from side to side, releasing out the low back. Very nice. It's getting nice and warm here now. So I'm doing an early morning recording here, and it's a bit cool uh, in the morning. So. Starting all layered up, and then as we get warm, the layers are coming off, which is always a good sign. Okay, so we were in our shoulder bridge. We're going to do one more component of that. We've done our presses with the pelvis. We've done the single leg extension. And now we're going to do one more exercise in our shoulder bridge. This is just so powerful for the glutes and the core, getting everything working together. Deep breath in, 
And exhale, let's go through our imprint and peel it up. Ground down through your feet. Strong core, ribs and hips connected. Now, I want you to think about shifting all the focal energy to the right side. So ground down through your right foot, knee and hip working, lift through the right bum cheek. Strong right and left obliques working here, tummy muscles and the right shoulder. You want to float your left foot almost off the floor, not quite. Just shift to the right. Shift to the right without actually moving the body, but all the energy is down on the right side. Feel that. Now, with that strong, strong core, float the left leg up. That's it. Feel it for three, for two, for one, and lower that left foot down. And now shift over to the left without moving the body, just the energy. Left foot, left knee, left ankle, left obliques, left shoulder. Feel that energy firing up through the left side of the body. Lift through the left hip bone and float the right leg up. For three, for two, reach through the fingertips. For one, and float that foot down. Squeeze the bum, navel the spine, and slowly coming down. Well done. Get a sip of water. Breathing through the back body. Lovely. Just checking, my computer keeps going to sleep, so I want to make sure it's still recording so you don't miss anything. <sighs> Very nice. We're going to come into our roll-up now and then move over into our four-point kneeling. So come lying all the way down on your back. Ribs and hips connected. Inner thighs glued together, point those toes. Float the arms up over the heart center here. Palms facing in. Let's float the arms back to frame the ears. And inhale the arms up, nod the chin, look at the toes. Exhale, deep, deep abdominal connection, that's it. And reach forward. Inhale, let's come all the way up today, right up. Nice long spine, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, scoop, shoulders down the back. Just a little variation today. And arms come back. Right away, inhale, look at the toes. Keep the side body nice and long. Inhale, let's go all the way up, flat back. And exhale, scoop, navel to spine, lead with the low back here. Coming all the way down. Keep the ribs in. Inhale. Sink, belly button to spine, reach, 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 reach. Inhale, sit nice and tall, reach, and exhale, scoop, navel to spine. We're going to do two more like this. Reach, lift that chest, and Last one. Reach, 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 reach. Float the arms down. Let's flex the feet. Open up the legs slightly and pull the skin of the bum out from underneath you. So you can feel those sit bones rooting down. You're going to send your arms forward, palms facing in towards one another. Spine stretch forward. So I want you to imagine that you're sitting back against a wall. Inhale nice and deeply. And exhale, peel your spine away from that wall. One vertebrae at a time. And then come reaching forward like you're over an imaginary ball. Inhale. Exhale, navel the spine. Reverse the movement, building your spine. One. Vertebrae at a time. Inhale. 
Exhale, peel your spine away from that imaginary wall. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale. And exhale, reverse that. Building your spine. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale. Exhale, peel your spine away from the wall. Inhale, reach. And exhale, reverse the movement, building your spine. One vertebrae at a time. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Reach here, but pull the navel back. Reach, reach, reach. You're over that ball. And now exhale, reverse it. Feel your lumbar spine, your thoracic spine. Cervical spine, right up, shoulders down. This is your final one with a little challenge at the top. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We're going to send our spine long on the diagonal. So from my tailbone through to my crown. So I'm not turning all the way up. I'm lengthening my spine on the diagonal. Some of us might need to bend the knees to get this length of the spine on the diagonal. And now take the arms up, thumbs back, to frame the ears. Open that chest, send the tailbone back. And now we're gonna pulse the arms back for 10. Nine, elbows are straight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach, 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 reach. Energy through the crowd. And exhale, scoop, round forward, and build the spine all the way up. Lovely. Turn the palms down. I'm going to turn to face you so you can get a sense of the rotation a little bit more. So I'm sending my arms forward. Still energy through my heels. So I really want a sense of the back body, the back line of my legs lengthening out through my heels. Shoulders are down. And we're going to pull the right elbow back, like you're pulling on a bow and arrow. So pull the elbow back. And now open up that arm and follow the fingertips with your gaze. Keep your hips pointing forward as you rotate through the mid-back. Bend with that elbow, pulling the thumb back towards the shoulder. And now we rotate back to the center. Left side. Open it all the way up. Shoulders down, hips forward. Rotate through the mid-back. Bend at that elbow, and let's speed it up. Inhale all the way open. Exhale, close. Other side. Other side. Keep growing taller as you rotate. And even taller to come to center. And two more times each side. Last time each side. Hold it here, reach. And then just reach for the toes or the shins, knees, whatever you can reach, and just relax forward. Bend the knees into the chest. I'm just going to turn back so you can see the side profile coming into rolling like a ball. So this is a favorite for many of the students that I teach because it's just a fun opportunity to connect with an inner child or a more playful aspect of your movement. Look between your thighs, scoop deeply into your core and rest the fingers gently on the shins. From here, we're gonna inhale back and exhale to balance at the top. Keep the rounded spine. Inhale. Deep core brings you back up to the top. When you go back, make sure not to flick your heels and your feet. So try that again. Have fun with it. 
but also work deeply into the core. Keep looking between your thighs. That will keep the neck position correct and keep the curvature of your spine. Last one. Balance at the top. Lengthen your spine. Whew. That takes a lot of work just to get that length in spine. Send the legs to tabletop at the shins and open them up to a better shoulder distance. Use the hands in the back of the thighs to get leverage and lengthen the spine open the chest. This is your teaser prep. So lots of variations here. You can stay here and just hold this posture. This is work for so many of us. Take the arms long. That might be another level. And just come down to the bra band. Inhale to the bra band. And exhale up. And another level is to frame the ears with the arms. We go again. Inhale to the bra band. Exhale. Scoop, 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 scoop. All the way up, lengthen spine. Frame the ears. And again. Deep scoop to the bra band. And come, 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 come. Bring those ears, big core. Last one. This is your teaser breath. And scoop, scoop, scoop. Bring the ears. Oh. And just fold over those legs. Whew. Well done. Get a sip of water. Doing great. We're 30 minutes in. We're going to do another few exercises. So well done. Let's turn over onto our front for a four point kneeling. If you have a band, you can slide that band on down. Leg warmers are going off now. This is a very good sign. So slide the band up. Just take it above the knees slightly, not too high up the thighs. Um, and turn over into your four point kneeling here. Nice long spine. Energy through the crown and the tailbone. And draw your belly button up into your spine. Up in, like this. <laughs> One second, we have visitors today. You can, you can play. Okay, something went a bit wonky with that first recording at the end there, so we have a full 30 minutes, but this is the second part with the last few exercises of today's workout, so I apologize for that, but let's finish up our class. So, second part, we were coming into our four-point kneeling with the band, up over the knees, and turning back around, into your four-point kneeling. Very nice. Press down through the tops of the feet. Nice long spine. So from here, we're just going to feel our wrists and our knees underneath the body, pressing firmly into the floor and away from the floor. From here, we're going to take a deep breath in, tuck the toes, and on the exhale, we're just going to hover the knees. Four-point kneeling. Try to get the ribs into the back body, shoulders away from the ears for five, four, three, two, one. Release the knees down and release the toes. We're going to do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the ribs into the back body, navel the spine, tuck the toes and hover the knees. Just so I could come around and slide a piece of paper under your knees so you're not coming up high. Just a really tiny lift of the knees. For three, two, one, and release down. This one we're going to step back into our plank. Inhale and exhale, hover the knees. Armpits towards the hips. Step the right leg back and the left. You're in a strong plank now. Try not to have the hips up towards the ceiling and make sure you're not sagging down. It's a Strong line from the heels through to the crown of the head. Hold that plank. If this is too challenging, bring the knees down. Draw the belly away from the waistband of your pants. Nice long line from the back of the knees to the crown of the head. Stay here for three, two, one. Step the left leg in. 
Bend the right. Release down and sit back over the heels. And just walk the hands out. Breathing into the rib cage, the back body, into the hips. And coming forward. Deep breath in. Tuck the toes and hover those knees. Strong core here. Now step the left leg back and the right. Hold that plank. We're going to take the left arm, place it underneath the heart center and swivel and come into a nice strong side plank. Hold that side plank. Don't let the hips sag here. Scoop navel the spine. Energy through the crown. Up and out. Holding for three, two, one. Come with control. Rotate back to center. Take the right hand underneath the heart center. You're going to get the back of me now. As you peel that arm all the way up to the ceiling. Strong core here. Navel to spine. Shoulders away from the ears. For three, two, one. And back to center. Strong plank position. And left hand comes under the heart center again. Rotate. All the way up. Now keep your hips facing forward, the bottom one especially. And we're going to rotate here, reaching, but don't let the hips come with you. Then we can get into the mid back. Reach, 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 reach. Reach. Under and up. One more time. Hips are forward. Go. Reach, reach, reach. But don't let the hips come with you. Reach the fingertips back. And up. Beautiful. Back to center. Hand underneath the shoulder. Pivot. And all the way up. Now my hips keep facing forward as I thread the top arm this time underneath. But don't let the hips rotate with you. Reach, 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 and up. This is your last time. Go. Reach, 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 reach. And up. Woo. Back to center. Here's your strong plank position. Rock forward and back. Two more. Rock forward and back. Last one. Forward and back. Step the left leg in and the right. Open up the knees, feet together, and sit back. Walk those hands out. Release the forehead down. And breathe into your back body. Roll it all the way up. Ooh. Well done. So we put the band on. So now we need to make use of that. So come back into that four point kneeling. And we're going to take, we're going to target the glutes now. So you're going to stay nice and grounded through the hands and the left knee. And you're going to take the right knee up to the side and lower. Up to the side and lower. Try not to rotate through the torso. Keep long through the neck and open through the chest. That's four. Five. That's it. Keep going. Six. Very nice. Seven. Eight. We're going for ten. Nine. Whether you have the band or not, this still works. Maybe just hold for a split second longer if you're working with a band. Nine. Hold this tenth one up. Hold it up. Pulse the tenth. Nine, eight, seven, tummy in, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, and resist. Down. Give the wrist a break if you need to. And maybe stretch out that chest. Oh, beautiful. And back to that four point healing. Make sure you're not sagging here as I was through my low back. So I need to draw my tummy in, ribs in, and 
and we're ready for the other side, left side. And we go up, and lower, up, and lower. That's two, three, beautiful, four, five. So the important thing is the muscles are getting tired to maintain the posture and the control. I can feel myself rotating a bit more than usual, getting tired in my shoulder girdle. Six. So I just have to control for that. Seven as best I can. Eight. Nine. Keep breathing. And ten. Hold this one up. Like the other side, we go for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. And resist that. Whoo! And sit back, stretch those arms out long. And roll it all the way up. Let's take the hands behind the back, opening up that chest. Just breathing deeply. Final exercise in our four-point kneeling. So back to your four-point kneeling. You're going to send the right leg back, heel out. And we're going to open and close. Open from the midline and close. Open from the midline and close. Open and close. That's five. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one, back to center, and bring it in, other side, send the left heel back, open from the midline, and close, open from the midline, and close, open, so developing lots of stability through the core here, when we move the body, the limbs, away from the midline. So much stability requires the shoulder girdle, the opposite oblique has to work to make sure you don't completely swivel in the pelvis. Keep it going. Three more. Three. Two. You're doing great. And one. Hold it. Bring the knee in and sit back over the heels. And just do these wave like motions with the wrists. Keep breathing through the back body. You're doing really great. We've reached the end of the class now. You can slide that hand off. There's so much more we could do, but we've, we've done a lot. 40 minutes. And so we'll just sit nice and tall here. Open that chest. Few deep breaths and then let's go up and over. Oh, yeah, feels it. Open up that side body, bend all the way up, float over to the other side, and up one more time each side. Take the hands, interlace the fingers, press through the palms as you round back. So the view from the side is, yes. Scoop, 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 scoop. And then take this up overhead. Press through the palms, shoulders away from the ears. And float the arms down. Interlace the fingers like we did just a minute ago. And open that chest. Engage the tummy. Mm. 
leaning forward, take the arms with you. And uh, take one hand to the outside of the knee, the other hand behind you, and just twist. And slowly come back to center on your side. And back to center. Place the feet down in front of you. Wrists underneath your shoulders, fingers might be turned out in towards the body, and press the hips up. Strong core here. And uh, let's do one more inhale and exhale. Send the legs long, reach up and fold forward. See where the hands land comfortably and just allow yourself to fold forward. And roll it all the way up. Okay, we'll stop there. Thanks everybody for joining today. Have a great day and I hope you'll join for the next Pilates class.